Welcome to another Windrush Against Sewage Pollution video. This one is about the changes that have happened to the River Windrush over the last 20 or 30 years. So we're going to look at this video that you can see in front of you. This was taken in May 1998 by Paul Woodley. He did it for the Newlands Angling Club and we're really grateful that he did because he managed to capture this moment in time. And we can see just how beautiful it was. We can see the golden gravel. That's in quite incredible and beautiful and clean. The green weed is striking. The clarity of the water is interesting, but the abundance of fish, there's a roach, there's a perch. We're gonna see more life. There are plenty of minnows. There are barbel like this, big shoal of barbel. And these are fish that need clean gravel to be able to successfully spawn. Barbel and grayling are two of the fish that cannot get by when the gravel gets clogged up with silt and algae. So we're going to go with Paul to these same places, we're going to look through those same eyes and we're going to see what he can see in May 2020. Just enjoy this vision from back in 1998, not that long ago. So here's Paul Woodley who took the video for us that we've seen back in 1998 and he's here to look in 2020, same time of year, river's low, mm, as clear as it's going to get. What do you think Paul? Anything out there? Well, by the looks of it, there's no minnows, just sludge on the bottom, no fish at all, you know. I just, you know, can't believe it, you know. And so it's last like, time you were here? Last time I was here. There were chub taking bread off the top, there were roach, there was a small jack pike, little perch, but mainly a shoal of maybe 10, 15 marble, cleaning themselves on the gravel, which you can see. Nothing, nothing at all. It's heartbreaking. So that's another spot where there would have been fish. What can you see, Paul? What do you want me to say? Nothing. Yeah. Not a sign. Odd flicker of a small minnow, but nothing. Yeah, tragic. It is tragic. Oh, oh. That brings us to this very interesting slide, actually produced by the Environment Agency, but not um, revealed by them to us. And it shows some very interesting links between phosphate, which comes from sewage works in particular on the Windrush, and the effects on a river. And there they are listed, cloudy water, fine sediment, filamentous algae in huge quantities this year after that winter of big sewage spills and low plant diversity certainly one of the striking features of the windrush is how much weed has disappeared and how many stretches are now devoid of weed so really really interesting stuff here